All right, this video is going to show you how to take a string, convert it to a list, then use a pop, which removes items from a list, and then turn that list back into a string. All right, I have a sample file. So I'm going to show you how to pull that information from the file. So I'm going to call the file variable file, and I'm going to open it. And the name of the file is output.txt. I'm going to put in that in quotations. And then I just want to read this data. I'm not going to actually do anything. I'm not going to write to it. I just want to read some of that data. So now the file is, that information is stored in the file variable. So for, I'm going to say for each, line in file. I'm going to set up a for loop. Each line, <clears throat> that's something you can make up. You can call it line, you can call it each line, each item. For has to be there, in has to be there, and file is the name of the file. So if I had named file new file, I would put new file in that other line. And in this case, I only have one line, but if you had multiple lines, you'd see the printout. So this, the convention here is one, two, three, four. I'm going to print each line. So you're going to see, oh, okay, now each line, that was one line in there. This tree is red and green. The type, oh, let's go back, the type it's a string. Now, I want to take that string and I want to convert it into a list. So, let's call this, we'll call it a uh, list. Yeah, simple enough list. What you want to do is you want to take that string, keep messing that up, take that string and you want to split it. Now, I'm putting nothing in the parentheses, so it's going to split on spaces. If I wanted to split on something else, like the letter E, I could do that. But I want to split on spaces. So I did that. Now I want to, let's print it and take a look and see what this looks like. Okay, there it is. It looks like a list. And it is a list. I want to remove certain things from here. So this is the pop. So if I wanted to remove one of those items, I would say the name, which is list, and then pop, and then put an index number, and it starts zero. It starts on a zero index, so zero would remove this, one would remove tree. Let's remove red end, just red end, so that it would say this tree is green. So red is at the zero, one, two, three. It's at the third index, you put the three in, close the parenthesis. Okay, it pulled, you could see it pulled the red. Now I want to print the list again, and you see red is gone. Now I want to take the end out. Since the red is gone, the index has changed after, after that was removed. So the end now is the third index, so I'm going to do it again. It removes the end, and you print, and now it says this tree is green. Okay, now how do I get it so that I can convert it back to a string? Well, let's call the new, let's call this string, let's give it a variable, we'll call it string. And what you do is you want to, what do you want it to be separated by? You want it to be separated by spaces. You could separate it by other things. You could separate it by end signs or at symbols or something. But you want to hit join. And then inside these parentheses, you want to put what it is. It's a list. You want to close it up. And then, okay, now it now that string has been can, has been created with these spaces in between. And if you print it out, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. The tree is green, and the type is a string. So we went from a string to a list. Did a pop. Did two pops actually, which removed those items from the list, and then joined the list together. Hopefully, this will help you out. Thank you very much.